use the same kind of approach with the different layers, the rivers, and we'll turn those back on, rivers and cities. If you look on rivers, you can see that you can apply a coloring scheme depending on another parameter um, in, in the, the shape files attribute table. So we could, for example, color it by the, um, we only have two choices, we'll color it by the river system assigning a unique value, and we've got the Colorado, the Columbia, the Mississippi river systems. Click on OK, and now we have a different color depending on which river system each river belongs to. And if it's not in any of those river systems, we'll plot with the default color, which in this case is blue. OK, um, and for cities, you can plot by, um, for example, you could plot a different color depending on the population, or you can assign a different symbol depending on whether or not it's, say, for example, a capital or a smaller city. Now. Um, the, um, let's turn off the legend editor temporarily, and let's zoom out to the, uh, the full extent here. The default is for the, all the shapefile data from all the layers to be displayed simultaneously, but there may be situations where you don't want that to occur. For example, um, if you have a very heavily populated area with lots of cities here, it doesn't make sense to have all of them displayed simultaneously. You may only want them to appear when you're zoomed in to a certain level. And you can do that with um, uh, Map Window GIS. Let us zoom in to uh, Southern California. And let us say we only want the cities to appear when you're zoomed in at this particular level. If we go and right click on Properties to bring up the Legend Editor again, you set up something called Dynamic vis Visibility. And as right now it's disabled, if we click and choose uh, Set New Dynamic Extents, click closed, it will now set it so you have to be zoomed up to at least this level to see the cities. If we zoom out a little bit, cities disappear, we zoom back in again, they appear. If we zoom all the way out to the full extents, they also disappear. That's it for now. Uh, next time I'll take a look at the um, things that you can do with the shapefile data or attribute table.